Hello church, I hope I do find you well on this day that the Lord has made. Today I've got great news. Church is reopening on the 4th of October. Yay, that is so exciting. I'm so excited as well as we are reopening the church. But firstly, I just want to thank the government for easing up on regulations. For now, uh, the numbers have been increased to 100, which is a good thing. We believe that this is still the beginning, but uh, greater things are yet to come. So be excited, but do not neglect the, the, the washing of hands, sanitizing your hands, social distancing, it's key. And as a church right now, we are hitting the ground, the ground running in preparation, making sure that as we start meeting on Sundays, we've got everything in place, sanitizers, you know, temperature testing machines and everything. So we are so excited. Uh, today, we just want to go through the word of God and hear also what the Lord is saying to us. I will read from the book of uh, Philippians uh, chapter 3 from um, verse 13. It reads, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. It's interesting to note that Paul says he has not yet apprehended it, or he has not yet put, put hold on, 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 or he has not yet put hold on it. It's very interesting. Why do I say it's interesting? Because here is a man who has written a, a greater part of the, of the New Testament. Uh, not only that, but he, he is a man who has stayed on course in terms of uh, uh, the calling that God has placed on, on uh, God had placed on his life. But still he says he has, he has not yet apprehended it. Uh, 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 one thing that I want to say is that your, your victory can actually cause you to, 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 to stop or to, to park the bus. But today, I, I don't want to talk about that. I, I, I want to talk about something else, which is um, uh, uh, forgetting those things that are behind and, and reaching forth unto those things that are laying ahead of us. This past Sunday, we received a very wonderful word on, 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 on the thieves of time. And I, I would want to believe that this pandemic has been one of the thieves of, of time. Uh, I, I know there are people who are supposed to graduate this year, but they could not because of this pandemic. I know there are people who are supposed to wed, they were supposed to get married, but they could not because of this pandemic. There are people who are supposed to travel, like for instance, me, myself, I would have loved to travel abroad, but this year I could not because of this pandemic. So I'd like to term it uh, a thief of time. But I know somebody, you know, uh, in the Bible who's called Jacob. The Bible says to Jacob, um, uh, arise and go back to Bethel. And Jacob uh, did likewise, he instructed his family and they went back to Bethel. And on his way to Bethel, he lost something that was very important in his life, something that he had worked for 14 years. He lost Rachel. I know you could you, you have your own Rachel that you could have lost in due to this pandemic. But today I just want you to I just want to say to you, uh, forget the past. You know, we know that what the past has brought into our lives, but it's time that we forget the past and we begin to stretch towards uh, 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 what is lying ahead. I want to end with this today that you cannot change your past. But there is something that you can change that is your future so why don't we make that commitment today to go for towards our future and pursue our future pursue the calling that god has placed on our lives i pray and hope that you're encouraged by this word and i pray and hope that you're excited about your future for there is great that is in store that god has in store for you may the lord richly bless you until we meet again